is Elliot with Modern Music Studio. I'm going to be walking us through how to record an electric guitar amp today. There's going to be a few tips and tricks on just how to optimize your sound and how to get the, the best tone out of your amp possible. So before I get into kind of the actual placement of our mics and playing some guitar for you all, I want to talk a little bit about your amp and some steps that you should think about before actually hitting the record button. When you record something, it's a good idea to keep in mind that once you have recorded it, there's not much you can do after the fact to change the sound. Of course, you have EQs and compressors and whatnot, but it's hard to take sounds out of a recording. So a lot of amps come with like a reverb setting or a um, delay setting if you're using pedals and whatnot. So keep in mind that if you're going to be recording something and you're going to want to change the reverb later, it's a good idea to take the reverb off or any effects that you, again, might just not want in the future of your uh, song making process. Same with like a delay pedal. If your delay is off from the actual kind of beat of your song, it's uh, sometimes easier to just put the delay on in the box, meaning like in the program that you're using to record with. Going from there, I want to talk about the speakers within an amp because where you place your mic on that speaker is going to change your sound quite a bit. Do note that sometimes your amp might have two speakers, sometimes it has one. If you have a really tall stack like an 8x12, you might have eight speakers. Just make sure you're putting your mic on the speaker to start with. Um, a good trick if you don't actually know where the speakers are because you're looking at a screen right here that doesn't let you. Um, if you have like a phone with a camera or just like a, or a flashlight, just turn that flashlight on and if you put it against the uh, mesh right here, you'll be able to see the cone in there as it is. Uh, the way cones project sound, in the very center of the cone, you're going to get a, kind of a more harsh, bright sound. And if you're farther to the side of the cone, where like the cone kind of ends, you're going to get a more dull sound. And dull is not necessarily bad in this case when we're recording. So for me, when I'm recording a lead guitar sound or uh, just something I want a little more prominent, I might nudge my microphone a little closer to the center of that speaker. If I'm recording something that's a little more like backup, like rhythm guitar, I might record it a little closer to the edge. Uh, again, experiment just kind of trying to find that sweet spot where you're going to like it the most. I generally am like right in between. So if like this is my speaker, Here's the center, here's the edge. My mic is usually somewhere in between because I like picking up both sides of that tone. Here you'll notice I'll have two microphones. These are both cardioid microphones. One's a dynamic, one is a condenser. Most people may or may not have a, a dynamic mic and a condenser mic or just two mics in general. So don't feel like you need two to get a great sound out of your guitar. As long as you put the mic in a good spot and you have a decent sounding room, you should be okay. Here's where I have my mics placed. They're about an inch away from the mesh of the guitar amp. So like probably two inches away from the cone. I like to be a little closer to the mesh. That way I just kind of am getting the fullest sound from that cone. You can experiment with different distances from your cone or your speaker or amp, however you want to call it, they're all going to sound a little bit different. So it's just fun to kind of experiment and see where you like it the best because it's kind of a personal preference thing. I personally think it sounds best a little closer to the amp. So let's get into it and just show you how this mic and technique sounds.